we thought it would be fun to see what we've been wearing over the years. <laughs> happy Fashion Friday, everyone. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. Welcome fashion besties, Miles Sexton and Lisa Corbo. They're so vibrant, they're so bright. Tanya, you are looking <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Janice Meredith. Coming to you from Queen and John, it's Fashion Friday on City Line. They do it like nobody's business. Too. Isn't that sexy? It is. Absolutely. The boot Make is definitely yeah, the yeah. boot of the year. Wait, what's that? What's that, sir? I said that would be something that I would buy. Yeah. Find out. <laughs> it's good to know. We're going to show you some fabulous fashions with Lisa Rogers, guys. Hey, Lisa. Hey. We've got our fashion stylist, Sandra Patana, in the house. The fabric, mm. the mixture of texture, the elegance of good style. Lynn Spence is here. Come on in here, Lynn. Just and I will tell you, no, don't buy that. She'll shit. say that. <laughs> but can she take off the coat? No. <laughs> I mean, I like and that. it comes originally with white laces, but I changed them to red because that's what a fashionista would do. That's what she does. What is that you. exactly? You're nude from there to there. Yeah, like, you what? are. <laughs> Fashion faces, Miss Lynn Spence. You just saw her. Fashion has been an incredible time on this show because it's like anything goes, right? Mm -hmm. And we really are at the cusp of what's happening. We've had so many new designers on the show. But we wanted you all to come in in the decade that is, you're all about. Mm -hmm. What's your decade? 80s. Okay, tell me, break down for me what is going on okay, in the 80s here. So Ms. I'm wearing Marla Wynn jacket oh, yes. and pants. So the pants, the jeans are flared. They were introduced in the 80s. Okay. The, the trench coat, that was the era that you wore it in a slimmer way, in a kind of a cuter way. Mm. This Isimiyaki, this oh, was yes. all about the sheer pleating. Yes. That yeah. was of that time, the era. Mm. And this was, whether it was prep or it was Studio 54, mm. I couldn't decide. Because mm. of Lurex and that little bit of, you know, yeah. snake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Love it. Okay, TT, what are we doing here? What decade are we? Okay, so I'm the 90s. Yes. <laughs> and You're I was very inspired. Girl by the Clueless movie and Cher. This is what inspired this look. So yes. at the time I was a teenager, I was all about every outfit that she wore in that movie. Yes. So this is, I was trying to replicate one of the looks from the movie. I love it. It's so Beautiful. good. It's so I would Cher. wear it today, actually. Yes. Right? Yeah. As if. <laughs> I love Whatever. Okay, Lily, what is your, what is your decade? The 2000s. <laughs> Absolutely loved the 2000s. Also, yes. when I actually arrived in Canada and I wanted yes. to be the it girl, mm -hmm. so now I can actually be the it girl. It's Aww. fun. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone have a seat. I love talking about this because I think so many folks have a uh, city line mm -hmm. connection and it might be that you're new to Canada. It might be that several generations of your family has been watching this show for a long time. Lynn, you get approached constantly. I've been to the mall with Lynn. Go to the mall with Lynn if you want to hang out for six hours. <laughs> because she will be stopped every two steps. And I mean, stopped in the most casual way. People need your help and they, they are happy to ask you because you're so approachable. Talk to me about how fashion has changed over the years or what you've loved about doing fashion on this show. Um, I love the fact that I can reach women mm -hmm. across the country mm -hmm. and you know um, I'm going to take those bracelets away right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear the click and clack? Back. Just give me one of them. Just give me one of them. There you there. go. There you go. Um, so what I love about it is mm -hmm. that I feel as if I give women permission to not dress their age in their heads. I want them to dress the way that they feel yeah. they really really feel yeah. and I want them I want women to feel gorgeous yeah I want them to feel alive and and we've all been talking this whole morning about women dressing more yes. really dressing yes. rather than just being simple yeah I so like I that. think that this yes. show has allowed us to really 
um, to explore. It's the permission. It's exactly it's as you said. It's giving people permission, for sure, <laughs> for sure. And I also want to say that I am really excited about watching younger women and how they explore. Well, I want with to talk about bodies. that. Even with, well, yes, I've got a 13-year-old that's like, Mom, why are you putting on a top over your sports bra? I'm like, well, I don't know. Maybe because I didn't want to just wear the sports bra. She's like, that's good enough. With your leggings, it's fine. Yeah. Lily, mm -hmm. talk to me about, because you do bring a lot of that on the show. Same with you, Tanya. Like, you bring a lot of freedom um, and of expression on, on the show. You were watching City Line when you first came to Canada? I was. What with were my your thoughts? Sister. Well, first, it was the representation for me. Um, I was so wowed by you and to be sitting here with you and expressing myself and my looks and also having women that are, you know, approaching me that are older than me going, hey, where did you get that? And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, don't mind if I do. I want to tell you all about it. <laughs> um, that's what fashion is all about. Just that's right. being yourself and expressing it and seeing representation and I'm honored. I love that City Line has been that place for so many years. So thank you so much to all of you for what you bring to the table.